Hello everyone, in this uh, section we will be learning how to converting Jupyter Notebooks into standalone web applications. Uh, let's see an example, uh, the result. Uh, yeah, this one. Yeah, I just use the sign uh, curl. Um, we made this um, plot application. Yeah, here's the control. Yeah, the slide bar, you can slide, choose a different value. And also, here's a drop down list for selection different colors. For example, here's red, orange. Uh, besides, um, here's the header. For example, uh, we use uh, the header sign web plot application. Here's the router. We write copyrights, for example. Yeah. Uh, let's see how to make this uh, plot application. First, yeah, we use uh, Voila. Voila is an open source Python library, which allows us to turn the Jupyter Notebook into a standalone web application and dashboards. You can go to their website to study it in detail. Yeah, this is their website. We uh, have to install uh, Voila first. It can be installed uh, from the uh, uh, pipe um, pipe P or uh, from Conda Ford. Yeah. Pip install Voila or Conda install Voila dash uh, C Conda um, uh, hyphen forge or or put this back. Oh yeah, at the end it's okay. Both work. Uh, I would like to divide. Uh, how to create a web plot app in several steps. The first step is to import required libraries, packages, and methods. Yeah, here we use numpy, import numpy as mp, import metaplotlib.py plot as plt. We uh, import um, the interactive edge box a layout, a button, grid spec layout from the IPy widgets. Then, uh, in the step two, we choose aesthetic style for plot. Here, I use ggplot. Then, in st uh, step three, we use matplot widgets. Uh, just use the matplot widgets. Um, magic. In step four, we de define the sign v plot function. In fact, we are already talking about how to make the uh, interactive uh, plot uh, in one previous video. Yeah, but I explain uh, extra things here. I add. Yeah, this X label, for example, X, Y label, the title. Uh, but here I put a figure, um, canvas to toolbar, position, bottom. That means uh, this bar, this toolbar. I put here. The default position of this toolbar is uh, left, uh, on the left of this plot, is about here. Uh, then the figure canvas header visible here. I set a force. That means, in fact, here there's a title like figure one, figure, figure two is here. I think really unnecessary, so I hide, hide it. Use yeah here we set force. Then this is the uh, x y, I think plot. 
In step five, we create a color list. Yeah, here we only use three colors. Yeah, of course you can put more. In step six, we create a widget for interactive uh, interactive plot. Here we already talked, but here we use a variable widget. We use interactive because interactive is very helpful. Uh, when we uh, use it, then we show the result. Yeah, if not uh, familiar with the uh, this interactive plot, you can watch my uh, one of my previous video. Uh, this uh, interactive has a children here. The children, in fact, the list. Yeah, we in fact we can write widget children. Yeah, then the results is a drop down. Yeah, drop down list is a color. This this color list. There's a float slider. The value is two point zero. Uh, yeah, this one or this one. And also there's a in in inter slider integer is f. And uh, another is a uh, float slider value. Yeah. Oh, or this one. Uh, the first float slider is value two point zero. Describe a. Yeah, a. This is a, a fee. Yeah. The output. Output is the plot. This. All oh, this plot and the toolbar. In step seven. We create the control widgets and the plot widget to use this children. Yeah, the control controls we use uh, use each box with the children is um, this. That means all the things uh, except the last one. Yeah, this all these things. Layout we use flex flow column uh, wrap column. That means here we use column vertical, uh, not uh, horizontal. Like A is here, F is here, or F is here, and etc. Yeah, here is a column. Yeah, Y height is just bottom. Output the figure. The figure means the last one. Here's widget children is minus uh, one. In step eight, we define expanded but uh, button function. Define just uh, create expand a button. Yeah, description um, and button style to arguments. Then return button. Uh, description is de description button style is button style layout uh, just use autumn we will explain this uh, in the following step in step 9 we use widget template ipad widgets have uh, three main different layout templates yeah you can go to the layout templates uh, for a detailed stu uh, study. Yeah, here in this web, yeah, Jupyter widgets. There's a using layout templates. There's a very detailed information about uh, these three uh, layout. Uh, in this um, uh, example. Yeah, we use this grid spec layout. It is an uh, N by M grid layout. Yeah, which uh, allows us to create a very flexible layout. <laughs> yeah, here we use grid. It's grid spec layout. Uh, that means seventeen. Yeah, N is seventeen. Seventeen rules. M is six. That means six uh, columns. The high 
is 600 p uh, pixels. Yeah, you can uh, adjust uh, this or yeah, this um, uh, arguments uh, according to your computer screen size. Grid zero um, and all the columns. That means uh, this one, uh, the the header. This one, yeah, we name the same plot app. We use the layout, uh, the button style success. Yeah, in fact, we we uh, let's see the button widget, uh, the button styles attributes takes five different values, like uh, primary success info. Warning danger. Yeah, we use success here. Yeah, the next uh, grid that means uh, this one the footer. Footer we use inform as information. Then the grid the uh, rule two, rule two, in fact, is three, right. This is 2 to 15. This is the rules. From 0 to 2, this is the columns for the control for this. Grid 1 to 16, column 2 to the rest. All is output. That means this position for output for the figures. Then we grid show uh, this. Then uh, we can test the web app with Voila. There's two ways. Yeah, first uh, we can copy all this code into one file. Here already yeah, made this uh, new uh, Drupal notebook. Yeah, named the same app. Yeah, like this. Same. Maybe we change it the same. Just the same. Same plot app. This. Yeah, copy all this code here. Uh, the first way is uh, maybe you have noticed after we install the Voila, here's a button, the icon for Voila here. Yeah, we can just uh, hint this uh, icon. Hint. I close this. And then you see that this is the app. Yeah, maybe it is uh, this uh, figure is uh, is a little bit large. It hiding some things. We can make it, make it smaller. Yeah, I just. Uh, Maybe here we change to seven. Yeah, here you can see. In fact, we can make it larger or smaller. Yeah, here. The second method is we just use the uh, terminal. We uh, first close this file. Then we open the terminal. Open new terminal. A new terminal. We just type Voila. The notebook name. Then plot A P. 
pp dot i pi mb. Don't forget the extension name. Then write. You see, we just got the same results. Yeah, the same results. Well, thank you for your watching.